So, you know how to make a driver, but what if you wanted your driver to have the opposite value of your custom property instead of copying it? That, my friend, is an inverse driver, and in the next two minutes, you'll know exactly how to create one. Alright, let's do this. Go to pose mode. Click on the bone with the constraint you want to be inversely related to your custom property. In the influence bar, right click and add driver. Show in driver's editor, click the X and click add input driver. In the DNA looking thing, select single property. Click the empty space next to the square and select the name of your armature rig. Go back to the object tab, go down to your custom property number area and right click. Select copy data path and go back to the driver's window under path, press control V. Rename your variable to main amount. Copy the name and at the top under the expression, control V to paste the name in. Now, here is the twist. Instead of leaving it like this, type in one minus before the name of the variable and select update dependency. You're done. Now, if we change our custom property, the driver will always be the opposite of the main driver. You can copy the second driver to any constraint you want if you right click copy driver and go to the constraint, right click and paste driver. And now you can see if I set my custom property to one, this driver will be zero. But if I set my custom property to zero, this driver will instead be one. And if I set my custom property to something like 0.78, the driver will then be 0.22. It will always balance to one instead of copying my property. All right, that's great, but how is this useful? Well, the place that I have found that it really helps is when I'm mixing motion capture animation with manual animation. My personal rig is made up of three separate skeletons. A motion capture skeleton, a manual rig skeleton, and the main skeleton, which is the one the model is actually attached to. Every bone in the main skeleton has two copy rotation constraints. The first constraint copies rotation from the motion capture skeleton. The second copies rotation from the manual rig skeleton. And I've used two drivers to control influence. The first is just a standard driver. It just copies my custom property. The second is an inverse driver. It's always equal to the opposite of my custom property. And what this lets me do is switch between motion capture data and manual animation data anytime I want. It also lets me mix the too if I want to use a little bit of each. Okay, well that's drivers for you. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you.